Hi, I'm Dominique Soxa and welcome to today's video. As you know, this is a platform for women in their prime to look, feel, and be their best. My content is directed toward the whole woman, the woman who wants to feel beautiful no matter her age and stage in life, the woman who wants to challenge herself, and I'm talking both mentally and physically to reach higher levels, and of course, the woman who wants to dive to greater depths within herself to connect spiritually and of course, listen to that voice inside. If this speaks to you and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Ring the bell. That way you will receive a notification when I release a video. And that, as you know, is every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, I ask that you share me with those women in your life who you want to lift and encourage. I would also love it if you would check out my content on social media. Of course, follow me there. And that's where I get to bridge the gap between Thursdays with a lot of real personal images Images, thoughts, a little bit of slice of life, my dog Oscar. It's a great way for us to remain connected throughout the week. So here we go. The content of today's video really comes from spending a lot of time in the comments section. I've been doing a bit of reading about a struggle going on right now with a lot of you, and that is finding happiness through these darker times. This year has certainly done a number on us. You don't even need me to list all of the areas of challenge. That's because you know and you feel each and every one of them, some to a greater extent, some to a lesser extent. But everybody has had to overcome something this year and face hardships. I've been asked a lot about maintaining a positive spirit through it all, and it really had me thinking about what that takes. You know, thoughts alone aren't enough. It really boils down to actions, which is why I chose the word habits for this video. A habit is something that you do, and it's something that is a regular practice. So I wanted to talk about my eight habits for happiness. And I encourage you, of course, in the comments section to include yours if it is not mentioned in this video. One thing that gives me enormous happiness is the willingness of this community to be so open and to uplift and support one another. So I thank you in advance for doing so. And now here are my eight habits of happiness. Number one, a sense of purpose, the reason for which something is done. What does that look like in your life? Is it maybe a career that you've been cultivating or wanting to step into or away from? Is it parenting and raising well-rounded children with self-esteem? We all need to wake up every morning with a sense of purpose, and we can have overall purpose, or we could even have daily purpose. We also need to analyze the reasons for those. Is it to become a better person, to challenge ourselves, maybe awaken or connect with something deeper, something spiritual? I think living with purpose means that we are creating a life with intent and not simply just drifting through it and feeling like a victim. Setting intentions to me is critical for living a purposeful life and it might take some meditation, prayer, alone time, just to sit in a corner and write those things down. I like to look at my, pur my purpose list and the reasons behind it and what I want to accomplish. That list is there to develop us and get us to a higher level of of happiness, so purpose number one. Number two, sense of creativity. We are all gifted with talents that need to be explored. They were planted in us for a reason, and that is the cathartic release we get, that endorphin high from being creative. If you feel far removed from that person or that place, reflect on what you love to do as a little girl or what you're drawn to now as an adult. There could be new creative outlets for you simply if you're willing to give them a try. I mean, things like gardening, cooking, drawing, painting, photography, beauty, writing, journaling. I mean, the list goes on and on. A life to me filled with joy is one where creativity is expressed. And I know I feel joyful when doing so, so get creative. Number three, spiritual connection. Have you noticed how much of a release there is when you connect with God? I mean, if you practice prayer throughout the day, give thanks for the blessings in your life, and acknowledge those first and pray about the rest, what a mental and spiritual shift that is. It takes such a burden off of our shoulders, while at the same time we're taking charge and we're making adjustments where we need to. 
A belief in God isn't about giving all, it all up to Him, sitting back and then just hanging out and waiting. To me, it's releasing to Him what we can't control, and this year is all about that. Having faith in how and when things will turn out. And then, of course, accepting responsibility for our role and taking action in our lives. It's a beautiful relationship that's steeped in love, acceptance, and forgiveness to me, and that is where peace and joy originate. Number four, rest. Rest comes in many forms. It could be a good night's sleep and prioritizing it. As mature women, we often have sleep saboteurs like hormones, stress, and maybe a snoring husband. Coveting a good night's rest and figuring out ways to get it are critical for happiness. Could be setting a sleep schedule and then sticking to it. Maybe better bedtime habits like not binge watching television until one o'clock in the morning or scrolling through the social media feed late at night. It could even be listening to meditative or prayer apps before bed just to get the mind in that zone. Could also mean adjusting hormones so that you're not waking up constantly at night. When we get a good night's rest or practice just those little moments of quiet during the day, it is amazing how all the rest that we're trying to accomplish in our lives happens easier. Number five is wellness. That encompasses rest, but it's also a combination of how we eat and how we move. Food is medicine. It can poison our bodies or we can heal them. By making the right food choices consistently, we are creating an environment for our body and our mind to function and feel at its absolute best. I personally seek out anti-inflammatory food like produce, the more colorful the better, antioxidant rich fruit like berries, sprouted grains, lean proteins, seeds, nuts, and healthy fats. I also drink a lot of water, I minimize alcohol intake aside from an occasional glass of red wine, and I enjoy my morning coffee. But I also believe in taking immune boosting supplements like vitamin D, C, zinc, and magnesium. And then comes exercise. A brisk walk out on a beautiful day can do wonders, yoga, Pilates, swimming, whatever it is, just make it a part of your routine consistently. Movement is a natural way to beat depression and and anxiety and it's amazing how much happiness being well can bring. Number six, love and connection. Whether it's intimacy with a spouse, time with friends, siblings, or children, we all need to feel a place and space in somebody's life. It must be cultivated and prioritized. We hear such sad stories of people dying from broken hearts due to loneliness. We are created to be social beings, and happy women are those who feel connected to others. Also, all too often as the years go by, we stop prioritizing love and sexual connection with our partner. It can come from a loss of hormones, stress, or simply a loss of interest. I know it's not easy if you've been with somebody for a long, long time. Sometimes we let those little annoyances and irritations override the good in them and what brought two people together. Sometimes that fake it till you make it approach actually works here. But the more we connect with that sense of pleasure, the more we desire it. It can mean digging deep with our spouse or partner, or if they're not willing or interested anymore, then it might mean asking some big long-term questions. Are we with somebody because we don't want to shake the tree and maybe we've grown a little complacent and okay with that complacency? Or is there something longing inside? And even if sexual connection is no longer a priority, a gentle kiss, hand-holding, having a good listening partner for many women can bring equal pleasure. And for women who have experienced loss or have chosen to be by themselves, the connection comes elsewhere. Faith, family, friendship, community. Life is too short to live without some source of love. Number seven is giving back. It's wonderful to amass decades of wisdom and life lessons learned, but it's even better to share them with others. Giving back can come in several forms. It could be imparting wisdom to a child, a friend, or a mentee. It could mean giving of your time and talents towards something meaningful to you, or making a charitable contribution. There's truth in that old expression, the gift is in the giving. I love looking for ways in my life to make it happen. Happiness to me is such a gift, whether as the receiver or the giver. Number eight, laughter. When we're happy, we smile and laugh. With such seriousness this year, I think everybody could use a little laughter, whether telling stories of the past with friends and laughing about treasured moments, or maybe watching a comedy show or Seinfeld. You know, something psychologically magical happens inside of us when we laugh. It reduces stress and cortisol levels, and it seems to make all of our cares go away, if even just for a moment. But a string of those moments together start to turn the tide of your emotions around. Happy women always find a way to get in a good laugh.
And those are my eight habits of happiness. I hope you start searching for a comedy show by now. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for welcoming me and this type of content here. You're allowing me to share a side of myself which adds to my happiness list, so thank you. Um, I do have a couple of fun and different things planned for future videos, but as always, share what you need and what you'd like to see. I also ask that you be bold and blessed in everything that you do, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Be happy!